Say hi to Tanya. Tanya's my editor. <laughs> All right. I always struggle with how to start them off. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, today, we've got a suburban water heater. And it is not making hot water on electric. So, uh, let's check it out. Let's dive in. All right, so we got the 12 gallon suburban water heater in our uh, grand design solitude here. Customer says it's working great on gas. You can turn the gas on. It makes lots of hot water like it's supposed to, but the electric side is not. It is dead in the water and it was just kind of all of a sudden. So what we're going to do, um, obviously we've checked the breaker. The breaker is not tripped. Um, but we need to figure out, do we have any AC voltage getting to our thermostat? Now on these suburban water heaters, a lot of times they'll have an on off switch down here, but this model doesn't. There's nothing, no on off switch. Um, a lot of times those switches will burn up and you pull the switch out and the wire behind it's burned up and then you replace it and you're good to go. But today there's no switch just a breaker he's got a switch inside that runs a relay on the back of the water heater and that relay is what tells the uh, AC voltage to uh, come through the thermostat and come down here to the heating element and uh, make our heart or harder watt <laughs> to make our water hot um, so I'm gonna take this cover off and we're gonna check and see if we've got any AC voltage on the uh, AC thermostat right here so let's do it And my guy Jason is normally with me, he won't always be with me, had training out in Nashville. So I am on my own doing the uh, James AZ Expert method of one-handed filming. All right, so here we've got our AC thermostat and here is our DC thermostat. Now, if uh, there was ever, you know, an, an issue of the tank getting too hot, right it's going to trip these guys here and it's going to cut off the dc voltage which shuts off our burner and it's going to cut off the ac voltage which shuts off our heating element but they're not tripped so let's get our uh, multimeter out let's see if we've got any voltage here at our thermostat all right so we've got got a set at the ac scale all right we're going to hang him there Set them here like I normally do. Sometimes you got to use your uh, your belly to help you out. <laughs> all right. So essentially, all we're going to do here is you can touch, you know, your your, your uh, ground your neutral or ground probe to anything metal on these water heaters. It's going to be grounded. And then with my other hand here, my camera hand, we're going to put one probe there. Touch this. And guess what, guys? My meter would be chirping if we had voltage, and it is not chirping at all. And we are 2.298 volts AC. So there is nothing there, and there's nothing on this side of the thermostat. Sometimes you'll get to the thermostat, you'll have voltage on this side, and nothing on this side. And that'll be your break. But here, we've got nothing. So. I'm going to go ahead for the sake of uh, the, the act of learning going on on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off and we're going to look at our heating element down there. But this right here tells me we've got no voltage getting to the thermostat. So obviously no voltage is going through the thermostat. So obviously no voltage is getting to our heating element. But we're going to go and take this cap off. We're going to remove a wire and we're going to check our ohms on that heating element just to make sure the heating element's not uh, part of the problem. So let's do that. All right, so here we got our heating element on your suburban furnace, got our hot wire and our neutral, right? So we're gonna take a, a wire off that element there and then we're gonna check the ohms of the element, make sure it's healthy. It's good to see that we don't have anything burned up on there. 
Alright, we're gonna take you can take one wire off, get you an ohm reading. A lot of times I like to take two wires off, but we'll just do the one today. And I had a friend of mine comment about my pistol grip needle nose pliers here. Yeah, those guys are like uh, very invaluable. I use those all the time. All right, so we take our wire off. All right, so now we can put our probes on there and see what it is oming out at. So on my meter here, we're gonna go up to here and the very first setting is ohms. I don't know if you can see it there on the dial. And... Oh my goodness. All right. All right, what is Mr. Meter telling us? About a 10.43. And just from my experience, um, I already know that that's a healthy heating element. Um, but what you would want to do, though, is find the wattage rating on that heating element. And knowing Suburban, that's probably a 1440, 1440 watt heating element. And you would just do the math. Um, they have this great app that you can get on your phone called Ohm's Law, and all you gotta do is uh, type in what the wattage rating is at 120 volts, and it'll tell you what the ohm should be. And uh, like I said, I just know from experience that's uh, that's a healthy heating element. And you could always take a new heating element if you've already got one in your hand. Take it, get an ohms reading off of it. And that'll tell you what a, heat, a healthy element is. But uh, situation as it stands right now is, is we have a healthy heating element. We have no voltage to or from the thermostat. So that means we're going to have to go to the back. To the back of the water heater, there is a junction box on the top of the water heater. And inside that junction box is a relay that uh, is the drawbridge, if you will, uh, between uh, the breaker and the water heater. You can't see me moving my hands around down here. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go back there, open up that junction box, and see do we have voltage even getting to the junction box, and if we do, um, what's going on. So let's uh, empty out the basement a little bit, take down the wall, and see if we can get my uh, Indian mound belly back there to uh, diag the situation. The problem, as you guys saw in the pictures, is um, a burned up wire connection. And wire connections are almost always the problem when it comes to amperage issues, uh, you know, thermal events like what we saw in that junction box. Thank God it was in a junction box, right? You know, because only God knows how hot that could have got and what it would have burned up around it. Um, I have seen where those uh, water heaters, all the styrofoams melted around it. That's how hot they can get. So. Yeah, wire connections. So uh, he's got uh, better connectors in there now, and uh, we've tested it, and it we've got 120 volts at the element. So uh, he should have plenty of electric sourced hot water now. Should be good to go. And uh, really would appreciate a subscribe, uh, like, comment, you know, all that good YouTube stuff, you know, because the algorithms, uh, I want them to like us, you know, so help a guy out, would you? And we'll see you next time. Bye.